Hey, folks. <clears throat> it's Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway Historic, downtown Paducah, positive energy. It works. And I'm going live this morning because, once again, we have um, the horrendous news that we've had yet another school shooting, another mass murder. Okay. So uh, in meditation this morning, I asked for some divine guidance, and um, I was um, humbled to have Archangel Raphael come in and, and give me some guidance that he has asked me to share with you. So when I do a channeling, I write it down because I do want to get it right. So I'll be reading from my journal. So I said, what can we do? And Archangel Raphael came back and said, look, um, number one, remember who you are. And this is a consistent message. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience. You are a beloved child of God. And regarding the situation where this young man and, and anyone who goes out and commits these kind of horrendous crimes, I said, you know, what about this? And he said, well, they have lost the resonance of divine love. And that they began to resonate with the dis dissonance and hopelessness around them. They got knocked off that sweet spot and that nothing was more uh, was powerful enough to bring them back into harmony. Because let's face it, folks, when, when we're in harmony with God, with love, when we love ourselves, when we love life, when we love one another, we do not go out and commit murders. Okay, So he got knocked off that sweet spot. Um, when we're so far away from that sweet spot, desperation begins to look like the only solution. And self-harm and harm of others uh, begins to look like the path that we need to take. In fact, the individual is screaming, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at and I don't know what to do. So... It became very clear that this isn't a regulation problem. Um, there's no legislation, there's no rules, there's no laws that are going to fix this problem. Now, there's things that we can do in the three-dimensional world, and we need to do those. That's not what I'm talking about. But at the core of it, this is a spiritual issue. So I said, well, what can we do as individuals and as a, as a group or a society? And Archangel Raphael responded, Take responsibility for yourself. Boy, that's a common theme, isn't it? He said, if you are a leader in a family, a group, or a community, take responsibility for the tone that you are setting. Because others will tap into that resonance and start to resonate with that. You're already doing that now, so pay attention to what, you, what tone you are setting. Is it positive and uplifting, or is it negative, critical, and condemning? So if you observe that there is dissonance in your life or those around you, then it's time to fine-tune your resonance back into harmony, back into the positive, back into the divine love, and then blast your speakers out as loud as you can possibly blast them for all to hear. Be the beatbox that is irritating because it's so loud that it cannot be ignored. Be love. Be hopeful. Be mindful of what you broadcast. Make sure that it is hope and that it is love. So Archangel Raphael said, look around you. What do you see? What do you really see? Turn off the TV, turn off the radio, turn off the social media. They will try to tell you what you see, but that's not what you see if you turn them off. It's their point of view, and let's face it, folks, peace and harmony doesn't grab attention. It doesn't sell ads. It doesn't keep you on the platform. Archangel Raphael said, look, there is no us and them. It's all us. Remember, focus on what you want. So turn off the TV, folks. It is not going to help you focus on what you want, which is peace and harmony and safety. 
And then Archangel Raphael also said, you can only truly be responsible for yourself. So be responsible. Be responsible with your thoughts. Be responsible with your feelings. Be responsible with your words and your deeds. You are the world. Be mindful of the world that you are creating. Remember who you are. You are a divine child of God. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience. And then his final, com final comment was, love one another, Archangel Raphael. So there you go, folks. Yes, there may be some three-dimensional things that we need to do, and they should be done. But at the end of the day, what you can do, other than feeling bad about things, is take responsibility for making sure that what you're resonating is peace and harmony. And if you're not in peace and harmony right now, it's incumbent upon you to get quiet, to do your prayers, to get back to that sweet spot of love and hope okay so it's a you know it's a tough time these are real problems in the real world but we do have power it's in us get connected and then blast your speakers out make sure they're blasting love and hope and, and hopefulness okay folks i do hope that that helps this is susan at the rock shop namaste